Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to make this quick video because uh, I see a lot of questions about labeling and packing and stuff. Um, so I just want to show you what I do. Um, you got to remember too, when it comes to uh, Amazon, you're sending your stuff to a warehouse of people that make like 12 to $15 an hour. It's hot. Uh, you know, you want to make it as absolutely simple for them as possible to scan this stuff if there's any issues don't be surprised if they like throw it to the side and be like oh can't do it so what i do so here's an example i wrapped this guy this is an electronic device um you know i wrap it really well bubble wrap um and then i put shrink wrap around it it just looks nicer Looks, you know, looks like it came from somebody that cared. Um, and then whenever you're putting your labels on, you can see here, this is a Franklin spelling ace. Try to put it on, a, on an area that's as flat as possible. Like don't put it here or don't put it like halfway, you know, put it on as flat a surface as possible. That way when they get it in, and what I do a lot of times is I'll take my little uh, handy dandy scanner here and just you know because this is exactly what's going to happen they're going to get your stuff it's going to come in let me put it up on this table here they're going to be sorting it it's going to come in they're going to have their little scanner and if they can't just do this real quick boom i'll show you that again if they can't just throw it on the table and real quick scan it boom came right up then they're just going to throw it to the side and they're going to be like something's wrong oh well you know not my problem Again, you're dealing with people, not that there's anything wrong with the job that they're doing. I'm just saying you want to make it as easy as possible for them to scan your stuff. You know, if you put it like on this part, it's going to it's going to get all jacked up and it's going to be rounded. It has to be as flat as possible. You know, on the back is fine, on the front is fine, but don't be putting it like here or this way or like crooked. I mean, you know, obviously, yeah, you could put it crooked and it'll still scan, but how does that look? Forget about the Amazon people. Just when it comes in the mail to somebody else, how does that look? It's all crooked. Nobody took the time. So I just want to make that quick video. I'm preparing a shipment right now. You know, take pride in your work. And again, remember the people that are scanning these items are like mi uh, just above minimum wage people. Nothing wrong with the job. Just saying they're not going to care that much if they can't scan your item. They're not going to spend, you know, two or three minutes trying to get it to scan in. They're going to throw it in a bin somewhere, and then you're going to see on your, your seller central, you know, stranded inventory or can't find it or something's wrong. So make it as easy as possible for those guys, all right? Thanks. All right, guys, another video I wanted to do real quick. Um, I see also a lot of talk about people poly bagging, uh, books and stuff like that, and, and various other items that really don't need poly bagging. And, you know, books are one of those things that they don't really need poly bagging. They don't. Um, <clears throat> certain ones, though, I do. And, it, it, you know, a lot of times I poly bag stuff just because it just looks nicer. Like, it doesn't really have anything to do with the returns. I mean, you're going to get those regardless, but... You know, how many other sellers are polybagging books? Like, again, you're, you know, you're selling them for the same price, but just, just think about when the end user gets this book and, well, real, first of all, you know, you cover the label. You always want to, the, the, the labels for this stuff always go on the outside, uh, of the uh, product, like the, uh, really hard to do this with one hand actually. Hang on a second. Okay, so you put it in a bag, you know, it takes two seconds, boom. Now it's in a bag. Sure, do you have to do that? No way, absolutely not. You know, some might even say it's a waste of a bag, but the point is, you know, the end, it's all about the end user. Just think about when you get a book, if you got a book in the mail and it was in a bag like this and it was used, somebody took the time to protect it. 
You know, it has nothing to do with returns. It really doesn't even have anything to do with them, quote, shopping with you again, because we'll be honest here. Most, most people who shop on Amazon have no, you know, like loyalty or anything like that when it comes to the seller, unless it's like a private label and they keep getting it. It has nothing to do with repeat customers. I mean, sure, maybe they'll remember, you know, my store name, like, oh, that guy did a book. What I do it for is maybe the review. You know, maybe somebody will take the extra time when they get this book and say, wow, it came in a nice poly bag. Thanks for the protection. You know, five stars or whatever. I do it because of that. Only certain books, not every single book I poly bag. Certain ones that I know like different kinds of people will buy. Um, like kids books and stuff. No, I'm not going to, you know, poly bag those. But certain books that I know what type of people buy, some people... Like my mom, for example, if she got a book like this in the mail with a poly bag, she actually would go on the site and review it, you know, and, and say, wow, excellent, you know, uh, excellent copy came in a bag. Thanks very much. Boom. That's all it is. That's why I do it on a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff doesn't need poly bags. Amazon tells you it doesn't need poly bags, but certain things I look at, I just know that if I got it in, a, in the mail and it was a used copy, this isn't even new, if it was a used copy and it came in a bag, I would just appreciate that someone took the extra time to take three seconds to throw it in a bag. Bags cost nothing. It's just, it just looks nicer, that's all. That's the reason I do it, so just something to think about, guys.